It is evident that this regime holds little or no value for human life and continues to perpetrate violence on its own people. We should not forget that on the 25th of June, there were snipers on the roof of parliament. The work of snipers is to kill, is to put people out. So whatever other things that were done by hired goons were done to justify the murder of innocent Kenyans. We are asking, is it possible, the way the DCI was explaining today, that an individual can murder more than 10 women, dismember them, place them in sacks, transport them to a quarry next to a police station without detection and in a crowded area? The only people with the capacity to do that kind of industrial scale criminal enterprise is state agencies gone rogue. Dump sites normally attract people who are scavenging on them. So anybody going to a dump site is likely to encounter other people. The only people who can access and condone the area and kick out everyone are security agencies because they'll scare those who scavenge on the dump site. We are saying all things point to the state agencies, rogue sections of the state agency being complicit in the quarry uh, dumping of female bodies. Is it a coincidence that in this particular demonstrations, the Gen Z demonstrations, we have been having a lot of young women participating. In fact, you can call it almost 50-50. Is it a coincidence that we are finding dismembered female bodies at a time like this? Is it a coincidence also that we have had mamas about massacre in Gedurai? Is this why there are no bodies in the mortuaries? Until the quarry dump site is drained and we see that there are no more bodies. Any other explanation by the DCI, by the police, is not credible. And I just want to remind us that the two days that the removal of bodies from the dump site has been going ongoing. Members of the public have been discouraged from witnessing through tear gas being thrown at them. People who are just curious and who want to know, some of them maybe whether their relatives are part of that. Why would you throw tear gas at people who feel threatened by what is happening and want to make sure? And why would there be conflicting reports of the number of bodies discovered? Why would police claim that some sacks did not have bodies? It is a civilian who was recovering the bodies. That civilian is the only one we can believe. And he has said that he was checking to see that there are human parts in each sack before he removed it. Why would the police want to confuse Kenyans on the number of bodies? Once again, the whole thing uh, points to complicity by security agencies and specifically the DCI who is trying to cover up. His explanation today leaks of a cover, cover up and it is not acceptable. Let them get busy. We have a forensic laboratory let us know how old those bodies are. What, when is the probable time of death? Why are we being given information that is half-baked? It is a sad day and none of us feel safe. The young women and men of this country do not feel safe and us, their parents and everybody else do not feel safe because we have a rogue regime which we must all join hands in telling their time is up. Thank you. Uh, I think it was that's the most strange thing for him to say 
the only person we are sure is sponsored by foreign elements is him because he